Dave Bailey goes away £16,000 better off. I can tell you, Dave, if you had said to me, Thomas Beecham, I would at this moment be giving you a cheque for £32,000. It was the right answer. Listen, you've been a top sport. He goes away with a brand new bride. Come on down, come on, Ant. Come on. Your man's coming home with £16,000. Give him a big hand. What up, both of you? Oh, yeah. Go on the proper one. Cheers. What up? I'm not sure I can take much more of this tonight. Dave Bailey goes back eventually to Langdon in Essex with Anne and £16,000. Watch this space in the press. Nine contestants left. Fastest finger first. Put the four answers in the correct order in the fastest time. You're next tonight to play for £1 million. No calling out, please, in the audience. I don't think the audience has got any breath left. Let them concentrate. Here comes the question. Starting with the lowest, put these poker hands in order by value. Starting with the lowest up to the highest. Four poker hands. Here they are. Pair, Royal Flush, Flush, Full House. <laughs> we find out the serious gamblers. Right, lowest first then. Uh, right order then, starting with the lowest. Pair first and foremost. Then going up to a flush. Then it's Full House. Then it's Royal Flush. That's the right order. See how many got that right? Then let's find out who was fastest. All these got it right. Only one. Oh, Alan oh, Wall is the only one <laughs> correct in 9.5 seconds. Oh, Alan, you card sharping person. <laughs> That's a sign of a misspent youth. Oh, You're the I only one who ran I don't play cards. <laughs> well, you played play something very well. You want to play for a million quid? No, I'd love to. I'd love to. Come on, let's do it. Have a look. Question number one is worth £100. 15 away from a million, you've got all three lifelines. Here we go. According to the traditional tale, what causes Sleeping Beauty to wake up? Phone call. Prince's kiss. Alarm clock. Noisy neighbours. I'd love to go for noisy neighbours, but mm. I'll go for a prince's kiss. <laughs> it's right <laughs> out, you've got £100, Alan. Well done. <laughs> OK, question number two for £200. Here it comes. Traditionally, what's the name for the first person to cross the threshold on New Year's Day? First person. First footer. First clogger. First slipper. First booter. Not a clue. Can I ask the audience, please? Right, audience. That's why lifelines are there. If you get stuck, that's why they're there. On your keypads, please, audience. Traditionally, what's the name for the first person to cross the threshold on New Year's Day? A, B, C or D? All vote now. <laughs> Just ready? 92% of this audience for £200 are going for A, first footer. 3% think it's first clogger. <laughs> Some Dutch in the audience. <laughs> Nobody says first slipper. 5% think <laughs> traditionally the name for the first person to cross the threshold on New Year's Day is first booter. <laughs> it's entirely your choice, Alan, but 92% is quite high. I'll go for first foot, Dylan. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got 200 pounds. Hello, audience. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, ever heard of it. You don't worry, that's what Lifeline's are for to get you through. Alan, you're fine, you've got £200. He's still got 50-50, he can still phone a friend. Alan, have a look at question number three. It's worth £300. Here it comes, you're 13 away from £1 million. Good luck. Which sign of the zodiac is represented by a lion? Like this one? Yep, I love this one. <laughs> OK, wait and see. Leo, Virgo, Scorpio, Libra. Go for Leo. Sure. It's the right answer, you got three in the pound. <laughs> Question number four is worth 500 pounds. Here it comes. Which of these is an English folk song first popular in Tudor times? Blue shoes, white garters, 
Green sleeves. Red breeches. I'll go for green sleeves. Straight out, you got five hundred pounds. <laughs> Big sigh of relief. Let's get you up to question number five. Then you would go home with at least £1,000. Back to Paul Tillman. Have a look. Who stands off stage and reminds actors of forgotten lines during a theatrical performance? Prompter. Jogger. Reminder. Refresher. Prompter. It's right answer. You've got £1,000. Well done, Alan. <laughs> You're delighted to be there, are you? No pressure, you're fine. Traditionally, the prompter always stands at the left of the actor in the UK and the right of the actor in the um, USA. Take your time, Alan, have a look at question number six of the possible 15. In geometry, which line divides a circle into two equal halves? Radius, diameter, circumference, tangent. Or 50 50, please. Okay, computer, take away two wrong answers. Leave Alan the right answer and one remaining wrong answer. Radius and diameter. I think it's B. Diameter. You might as well play it, you're guaranteed a thousand. I'll go for B. Final answer. Final answer. Diameter. diameter. Happy. Not really, but I'll go for it. You're a great worry to me, Alan. It's right, you got £2,000. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already for myself, you know? Oh. You've still got phone a friend. Number seven is worth £4,000. Okay. Take a look at it, you're nine away from a million. You don't have to play this, you can phone a friend and still take the money. OK, have a look. Where is Noah's Ark said to have rested after the flood? Everest, Ararat, Kilimanjaro, Snowden. Mount Ararat. Final answer? Final answer. Alan, it's good, you got £4,000. <laughs> you still got phone a friend. Alan, you were really putting yourself through the mix. I do, I am. You got £4,000. Have a look at question number eight of a possible 15. Which geographical feature is a narrow strip of land linking two large areas of land? Dune, Firth, Isthmus, Gulf. It's worth £8,000 to you. Could I phone a friend, please? You can. Who would you phone? Robin. Robin Thomas. You don't have to take his answer, Alan. It's entirely up to you. You've got £4,000. Tell him the question, the four possible answers. It's worth 8,000. Hello. Robin? Yes. It's Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. What? Chris Tarrant on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I don't believe you. It's true. <laughs> well, all right, try this then. Uh, Alan Wadlow's here with me. Yeah, I know Alan. That's right. Well, he's sitting here now. He's on £4,000 at the moment. Yeah. With okay. your help, we can get him up to £8,000. Do my best. OK. The next voice you hear will be Alan's. He'll tell you a question and four possible answers. One of those is the right answer, the other three are wrong. One's right, it's worth 8,000. OK. OK, good luck, Robin. Alan, your time starts now. Robin. Hi, Alan. Which geographical feature is a narrow strip of land linking two larger areas of land? Dune, Firth, Isthmus or Gulf? It'll be a guess, Alan. I, I, I'm not sure. It'll be, have to be a guess. What is it? It would be Isthmus. <sighs> Robin's normally good. I'll go for it. Please. Final answer. Final answer. 
You said he's normally good. He is normally good. You just won eight thousand oh. pounds. <laughs> It's, uh, it's like Panama, linking North and South oh. America. Yeah. Right, you've got £8,000. Question number nine is worth £16,000. You don't have to play this question, Alan. Have a look at it, tell me what you want to do. In Britain, which of these Royal Air Force ranks is the highest? Air Marshal, Air Chief Marshal, Marshal of the RAF, Air Commodore. What are you thinking, Alan? I'm thinking Air Commodore, I am. No, I won't risk it. It's, it's too much for me now. <laughs> I've struggled all this way. <laughs> I'm going to keep that 8,000. Sure. Positive. <sighs> yes. Definitely. You can't wait to get out of the studio, can you? I can't. No, no. <laughs> Final answer? Final answer. Final answer, you're going to take the money, you're going to take 8,000 pounds. Take the money and run. OK, give a big hand. Alan goes away. I think a very relieved man with 8,000 pounds. <laughs> you were playing your luck all night. If you had yeah. been that little bit braver and said to me, Air Commodore, you wouldn't be sitting there at this moment with 8,000 pounds. <sighs> You would have just lost £7,000. It was the wrong answer. The right answer is Marshal of the RAF. Did you do the right thing? Oh. Give me a big hand. Alan did the right thing. He goes away. £8,000 better off, better for Phil, but what I know. Have a great night. Good night. Alan Wadlow takes £8,000 back to Port Talbot in South Wales. Now, we've still got eight fine players left. Fastest finger first. Audience, nice and quiet, please. Here comes the next question. Starting with the earliest, put these cities in the order they hosted the Olympic Games. Atlanta, Barcelona, Tokyo, Moscow. OK, let's check out the right order first and foremost. Then starting with the earliest, uh, Tokyo farthest back, back in 1964. Moscow, then in 1980. Then it was Barcelona in 92. Most recent, Atlanta, 1996. That's the right order. Now, let's see how many got it right. Then let's find out who got it right in the fastest time. All these got it right. Elaine Briggs was fastest in 8.50 seconds. Elaine! You're terribly well done, you know your Olympics. Yeah. Are you a sporty girl? No. No, not at all. <laughs> Want to play for a million pounds? <laughs> Dead handy, wouldn't it? OK, let's do it. <laughs> OK, Elaine, question number one for £100. 15 between you and a million quid. Here it is. What has changed regularly at Buckingham Palace? creating one of London's tourist attractions. The servants, <laughs> the guards, the sheets, <laughs> the nappies. The guards. The guards, the right answer. What have you got on the <laughs> OK, have a look. Question number two is worth £200. Here it is. Which animal's name is rhyming slang for talk? Rabbit, dog, beaver, squirrel. Rabbit. So right now, you've got 200 pounds. <laughs> rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. It actually comes from um, rabbit and pork talk. Yes, you probably don't do a lot of that in Fordy Bridge. Rabbit and pork <laughs> talk. Right, you've got 200 pounds. Have a look at question number three. It's worth 300 quid. No problem so far. You've got three lifelines. Here it is. Which of these is traditionally eaten with roast beef? Yorkshire pudding. Chocolate pudding. Sticky toffee pudding. Plum pudding. Yorkshire pudding. It's right answer, no problem. £300. <laughs> You're right. right so far? Yeah. OK, it's good. You're enjoying it. Question number four is worth £500. Here it comes. Which word is a warning shout in golf? How's that? Time, four, or oh yay? Four. Four's the right answer. You've got 500 quid. <laughs> Uh, one more question between you and going home with a guaranteed £1,000. 
Always a big uh, sigh of relief when you get to this. I'm sure you will. You've got three lifelines. Have a look at it. Question number five. It's worth a guaranteed minimum tonight of £1,000. Here it comes. Which girl's name is also the name of a citrus fruit? Geraldine. Christine. Clementine. Justine. Clementine. Sure? Yeah. Very confident? Yes. It's good. You've got £1,000. <laughs> £1,000, all three lifelines, no problems at all so far. Question number six is worth £2,000. Here it comes. London Smithfield Market is best known for selling what? Meat, fruit and veg, used cars, fish. London Smithfield Market is best known for selling what? Meat, fruit and vegetables, used cars or fish. It's worth £2,000. You've got £1,000, you have got all three lifelines. It's meat.